This is Dabu7. We have a big announcement that seems to have flown right under the radar of the mainstream news where CERN has announced that they have discovered five new subatomic particles. They were all uncovered and sitting what they say was right in front of their face the whole time. So what changed that allowed them to see this is the big question that they do not answer here. What they do is they go into detail in explaining that this Omega C baryon that has been mysterious has now been discovered and that it is connected to neutrons and protons. They're saying along with the components of quarks, quarks make up the heart of this. All of this is glued together with this strong force. And what they've been trying to do is study what that force is. Instead of these things just being suspended in space, there's this force, this nuclear strong force, they call it, which keep these atoms intact and binded together. Now, quarks, they come in what they call six different flavors. Up, down, strange, charm, top, and bottom. Now, neutrons and protons, which most people are aware of, they contain up and down quarks. Now, when it comes to the strange and charm quarks, they are just heavier versions of the up and down quarks. Now, they go on here into detail, talking that CERN, which runs the LHC, notes that this observation of five new particles at the same time is a rather unique event. So what they're stating here is they've picked up something that was right in front of their face the whole time, they say. They now know of it. What they're not saying is how they were able to pick up on these things to begin with. Now, what piques my interest here is that CERN, with all the mystery to it, we've talked about punching a hole in space-time, uh, stargates, folding in 4D into this reality. Well, there's multi-dimensions, but most people see the world that we live in. They only can wrap their head around the 3D, three dimensions here in this realm. In terms of 4D, just here in the past six months, they were saying that there was a blip in data. And then they started talking about all this stuff about folding 4D into this realm. It was very interesting talk of what they were talking, but then all of a sudden, the blip was nothing. That all, that, that blip of data checked out to be just nothing. Well, something happened, and I can't help but think that if you were able to, to tap in to this other dimension and see everything within it, well, then you would see things that were sitting right in front of your face the whole time, similar to what they're saying happened now. So it raises the question, and there's always this question. What else do they know? What else are they doing? Those qu questions were, will continue, no doubt, with all the things connected to CERN. This is pretty interesting that they say they discovered these five new subatomic particles. So I will continue to update with information as I come across it. This is a good read, but it's not as detailed as I would, I would like. Of course, it never is, but that's why I say use discernment. Think outside the box. And with the little bits of information they give us, we got to try to paint the bigger picture here with what's really going on. Till next time, it's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.